Hello, happy people. This is your host, Crypto Puffy, and we are here watching my show. So, welcome. Today, I'm going to make a special episode because there are some of the people that still do not know how can they use an ERC20 wallet or ERC20 address in order to manage their ICO or their ERC20 tokens okay and this is uh, you know basically problem problem for them especially because most of the ICO at this moment they are not using uh, a regular you know dashboard style uh, purchase where you send your BTC or your ETH to the platform and the platform will show you the tokens that you bought within the dashboard okay now most of the platforms they are you know must basically most of the ICOs they are based on the Ethereum network they are an ERC20 or better uh, you know more developed uh, token and they are as such sent to your or to our ERC20 address okay so this is what Nova Chain did and now that there are only you know less than one day until the exchange period have you know uh, will will finish basically we have met a lot of uh, you know situation on the community channel where people do not know how to use an ERC20 do not know what is an ERC20 address and therefore they are in danger to lose their tokens okay for the people that do not know what is all about nova chain is an ico that finished some time ago and they are exchanging their tokens their ex their old nlc token with a new token called nova okay so now i have a video you have the link in the description of this one that explain how to do that how to make the exchange but of course that that video was based on the assumption that people know that what they bought and how they bought it so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to issue a new video where i'm going to explain how to create an erc20 address if some of you didn't do it at least you'll know how to do it in the future how to open an erc20 uh, address using my ether wallet site and also how to add a custom token especially the in nlc token so that you can see it and you can interact with it you know transfer it receive it and so on so what i'm going to show is going to be related to nova chain but you can use it as a general video on how to operate how to create how to operate and how to uh, you know how to manage your ERC20 tokens within an ERC20 compatible wallet but before we proceed don't forget to go and subscribe to my channels I have almost 1.9 subscribers at this moment so I hope to see the 2000 subscriber very very soon of course uh, as you are used I am going to have a giveaway in this episode for for this episode better said just stay with me until the end to give you the details of course also if you consider this video is a good source of information and you 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 um, you manage to learn something out of it don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to leave me a comment i would like to hear about you and to hear from you what are your thoughts on what i am sending you what i am uploading for you at the end of the day my mission is to give you cool information new information and an information that you can use in order to create a passive uh, income for you and your family okay so hit the like button subscribe to my channel maybe you are going to be the lucky 2000 and don't forget to hit that bell next to subscribe it looks like this one it's uh, the you know announcement bell you so you are going to get announced you are going to get a notification every time i upload a new ico a new video for you guys some of them are time sensitive so it's 
better for you to receive a message as soon as I have prepared and upload the videos for you. Okay, cool. Those being said, let's go back to Nova Chain. Don't forget that there are uh, at this moment another 11 hours and 30 minutes until the exchange of the tokens is still possible. Please make sure that you do that. You exchange your tokens after this period. I cannot say exactly what the team will do, but probably only the people that had a you know, a real problem will be able to receive support on this. For sure, it's going to be more difficult to exchange your tokens in the future. So probably at one point in time, it will be impossible. So it's good, it's very well to do it now. For those of you that said that everybody should be notified, not only through social media, what the team did, they have inserted a pop-up menu, a pop-up message. So once you access the Nova Chain site, which is novachain.cc, you are going to receive this uh, website, this pop-up website message uh, stating exactly what the social media have stated and describing the exact uh, token exchange you know, method. Cool. So uh, that being said, let's come back to uh, my ether wallet so the best the most and the best well known the most well known wallet for an erc20 uh, address is my ether wallet so i'm going to use this as a model if you have used another one just take in account that using your you, you, your private keys you are going to be able to import the uh, address in a my ether wallet so no matter where you created your erc20 okay just make sure that you have the private keys okay how to create a new wallet okay you have to enter a password so i have i don't know you you enter your own password make sure it's a good password make sure you don't use it for something else and make sure that you write it down and you don't forget it okay the password might be at least nine characters Okay, so let's go back and make a password of nine characters. You, as you can see, this uh, this box now has uh, green uh, outside lines. Create new wallet. They they are going to provide you with a JSON file. Okay, so download key store file, which is UTC or JSON. It's here. Okay, Sh show in Finder. This is the one copy and I'm going to copy it here I understand continue do not lose it okay do not share it and make a backup okay I'm always suggesting that you do whatever you need to do in order to protect your security don't take it lightly security in crypto is the most vital thing possible okay so let's continue I have this then don't forget to save your private key this is a private key that i'm going to use for this example so i'm going to use it in uh, you know transparent mode because i'm not going to use this address anymore after that but i want you i want you to be able to understand what i'm doing okay so after i save the json file and i remember my password don't forget that i have inserted at the beginning i have created at the beginning then I go to print wallet paper and I print this. I'm recommending you to use a printer that has no wireless, okay? It's a wired printer. And then you take this note, you keep it safely, you make a copy and you put it in two different places where you know you can access it, okay? So always have a backup out of it. Don't forget that if you share this paper with anybody, they are going to be able to access the funds in your ERC20 address. So please don't leave it in your computer. Don't uh, share it with other people that you don't want to have them to have access to your account. Okay, let's go back. Then of course, that's it. Okay, now that we, now that we have created my Ether wallet, we need now to, we have how, we know how to open it. We have everything. So let's see how we open an address, a my Ether wallet address. It's, which is an ERC20 address, okay? 
So once we access uh, the uh, myetherwallet.com, we can go to this menu, send ether and tokens. We'll have several ways to access our uh, ac our address. Okay, so you can use a MetaMask, which is something that I'm going to explain in another episode. I'm going to show you how to do a MetaMask. You can use a Ledger wallet or a Trezor, which are hard keys. Okay, wallets, hard wallets. You can use the JSON file that you saved. You can use a mnemonic phrase that you can do, but not through my other wallet. Okay, but if you have a mnemonic key from another program, you can use it to open it and you can use a private key. Okay, so today I'm going to show you two ways of opening your, uh, your ERC20 wallet. First, it's Keystone or JSON file, okay? If you click this, you select this, then you go and select your wallet file. You remember that JSON file that we saved at the beginning, we are going now to, so we go where we have, we have this file here. We go to where we have this file. We select the file. Then we use the password that we have created in the beginning. Don't forget that this is a need, not this is not a recommended way to access your wallet. The best way to access your wallet is to use a Ledger wallet or a Trezor uh, device. Okay, so both devices there are hard wallets and you can buy them on their specific uh, pages. Just look for them on Google. Don't buy them from eBay or some non-authorized uh, reseller. Just buy them from their official websites. Okay, so let's put now the password that we have introduced and I have now access to my new ERC20 address. This is the address, the official ERC20 address that you can use no matter where. And here we can have, here of course we can have different tokens. We will have Ethereum, of course. For at the moment I have zero Ethereum, of course, because I didn't, uh, I didn't put, I didn't send any Ethereum to this wallet. And of course we can have tokens, ERC20 tokens, but for the moment I don't have, okay? The second way to open your ERC20 wallet, which is a way that is good also, for example, if you have, if you want to import your uh, ERC20 wallet from another program into my Ether wallet, is to use the, is to use the private key. So we go and we select private key, we have this send it and tokens menu. We select private key and then we write down or copy paste our, our private key. Don't forget that this is the most risky way to access your wallet. Okay. I suggest that you do that only until you can, you, when you want to secure, uh, you know, new, when you want to access an ERC20 wallet, which is not uh, created through my etherwallet.com site. Okay. And then we hit unlock and we go back to the wallet that we have discussed. Another way to open uh, my ERC20 wallet and the safest way is to use, as I said, a ledger wallet or a Trezor. I have a ledger wallet device. I'm going to select ledger wallet. I'm going to connect the ledger wallet to my computer and then I'm going to hit connect to ledger wallet and then I'm going to choose the ledger wallet that I have where I have my tokens okay because I want to show you several things what are going to what I'm going to show you now I'm going to show you how to add your custom token several of uh, members several members of the community of the Nova chain community have come back and said that the tokens are missing from their uh, from their dashboard. Basically, you have to understand that when you bought the uh, ICO for Nova Chain, either when you bought it from Novaland or from Nova Chain, you were supposed to 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 insert an ERC20 address. It was impossible to create an address or to buy the ICO without an ERC20 address. Maybe some of you have mistaken this ERC20 address with an Ethereum address because it looks similar, but I'm going to discuss this a little bit later. What I want to say, it is very important. It's the fact that 
Nova Land or Nova Chain never have never kept your tokens in their dashboard because they didn't have wallets until recently. So what they did, they have created a mirror, a connection between the ERC20 address that you connected with your account and the dashboard. So it was like a mirror. Whatever you saw in the mirror was exactly what you had in your ERC20 address that you provided and you connected, created a connection with your account. Okay, so the moment they have broken this connection with the new site, they created the wallets and everything. That's why you cannot see your uh, your tokens in your dashboard because there is no mirroring anymore. So you have to understand that the tokens are in your ERC20 wallet. So after you connect to your ERC20 wallet, as I showed you before, it's possible that you do not see that you do not see your NLC here. You will see zero here, and I'll show you why. Let me delete. Maybe you will see this. As you can see in my address, in this moment, in my wallet, there is nothing regarding the NLC tokens. Okay. What you can do, I can. I have only 0.01 ETH. Okay. What you can do. You can do you can click on tokens and goes to go to ETH Explorer and they are going to show you here all the tokens that you have in your wallet in your address in this specific address. So here as you can see I have 550 NLC, okay? How can I how can I identify how can I add this NLC so I can use them? It's easy. Okay, I have here in my Ether wallet, I have add custom token. I click on add custom token. I need to write the token contract address. How do I do that? It's simple. I go to ETH Explorer or I go to my Ether wallet. I'll do the same. So first I go to ETH Explorer. I click on Novaland and you have contract information or here on the upper side. Copy this contract address. You go to my Ether, add this address you put the token symbol which is nlc and you put the decimals which are 18. you can find everything here symbol nlc decimals 18. so once you did that you press the save button and right now you are going to see your nlc you can do this for every token that you have in your wallet and you are going to have a list of tokens that you can then that you can then uh, manage okay send receive and so on cool at this moment when you click on this button here on this page you'll, you are going to have you know a full menu including nlc that you can send okay cool so now what do you do once you identify your address you accessed your address you added your uh, you added your uh, token okay so you have here your NLC tokens what do you need to do first you need to go back to Nova chain site once you are here you go to wallets menu I already have added I have activated my wallets and I have added 100 uh, token I have exchanged 100 tokens in my previous video so here next to deposit you are going to have generate new address so you are going to have a new address of ERC20 or a new ERC20 address that it will be you know directly in your dashboard so you are you need to hit a button which is a generate address then you hit deposit then you take you copy your deposit address don't forget that don't forget that your nova address and your eth address are the same okay because they are both erc20 address. it's only one address but they are showed separately in your dashboard just to be easier for you to manage them so it doesn't matter if you deposit here or you deposit here on eth wallet it's the same address so once you have this address you copy it you go back to my ET, my Ethereum, my Ether wallet, sorry. You paste the address here. And first you need to send ETH, don't forget to select ETH, in amount of 0.003. Why you need to do that? Because if you don't do that, you are not going to see the tokens in your Nova wallet. It's a fee that the Ethereum network charges. So 
it's like a banking fee okay when you need to send money from the bank or you, when the bank gets you you know takes money from you when you receive uh, transactions this is basically the same okay so the ethereum network will charge you for this transaction so you need to have 0.003 ethereum in your ether sorry in your nova chain wallet here in order to receive you know the tokens so use input the amount 0.003 you leave the gas limit to minimum 21,000 it's very important to have this minimum 21,000 if you put some more the transactions will go faster and then you are going to generate transactions and then of course you are going to need to approve it and then you are going to hit send transactions you are going to have a review and then i am sure make transactions okay i'm not going to do that because i already did but you need to hit that i am sure make transactions okay cool once you did that then you come back to this my page you leave the same eth erc20 address okay and you need to send your nlc tokens so let's say that you have 200 NLC. As you will see, the gas limit is modified now to 51,648. But don't forget that if you go here on the Nova Chain site, the minimum you need to set it to 65,000. Okay? So you need to come back and set the gas limit to 65,000 or more. Okay? 65,000. After that, you generate transactions, of course, 10 transactions, then, yes, I'm sure, make transactions, so I'm going to send the 200 NLC. Here you will have your uh, uh, text ID, okay, your identificator, where you can check both for the 0.003 ETH and also for the NLC that you sent, you can verify the transactions online, the transaction online. So you go, you hit verify transaction and here for the moment you are going to see pending. Why? Because I put the minimum, which is 65,000. The gas, I, it was set to 65,000, which was it, it was the minimum, but it will take few time and the transaction will show approved. Okay. Once the transaction will show approved, both for the ETH and also for this one. Okay let's wait a little bit more so now the transaction it was a success it was confirmed five times now we can go back to the nova chain site and hit this scan wallet okay for the eth i didn't send but you will see the 0.003 eth okay and for the nova the same we scan wallet this is very good that it happened because I want you to understand what happens. If you don't send the 0.003 ETH for each transaction, you are going to receive this message. You have 200 NLC Nova pending to deposit, but you need to have at least 0.003 ETH to complete the transaction. I don't have 0.003, I have only 0.0027 ETH. So the transaction will be pending okay so what do i need to do if i receive this message it's okay we go back to my ether wallet we choose eth and i'm going to send some additional ether up to 0 0.03 so 0 0.002 let's say doesn't matter okay i put the gas limit to 25 so i don't wait too much i generate transactions send transaction yes i'm sure make transaction and then i'm going to verify these transactions still pending i'm going to wait until it's success now the transaction is a success we go back to nova chain site and then we scan the wallet one more time and now as you can see i have both transactions and my 200 nsc has been already converted to 200 nova okay so this is the way to do it okay but let's go back a little bit so one more time if you don't see the nlc in your dashboard that means this is because there is no more mirroring between your erc20 address where you have your nlc tokens and the new dashboard in nova chain site okay cool so that means you need to search for your uh, tokens within your erc20 address as i showed you in this video second 
wrong ERC20. So for example, I have received and I have saw uh, most some of you that have lost the, their ERC20 address. In case you are in this situation and you don't remember which is your ERC20 address, then you need to send an email to the support. So that is support with double P at novachain.cc. Okay, or you can go here and you open a ticket here through contact. Here you have everything that you need. Okay, you can send here directly the support ticket. Okay, where you say, look, this is my email, registration email address. This is my account. Please, please uh, remind me what is my ERC20 address. Okay, it will take some time, but you have to imagine that you are not the only one that are sending emails to support, especially now in this period, just before launch of the platform. So you have to wait patiently and they are going to uh, respond. In case you don't receive a response in 24 to 48 hours, please come back to the community chat and contact one of the admins. Okay, don't send me messages in this video. I'm not following my YouTube messages all the time. So the fastest way to get a response is to go to the community chat and ask your question with the admins which are online. Okay, cool, perfect. Another another question one other uh, situation some of you have sent your nlc tokens to the exchange uh, to the contract address if you have this problem that you send to the contract address instead of sending to your nova chain to the, your new nova chain address you have to send an email to support but please add the text id of the transaction so all the confirmation all the uh, necessary informations they will reverse the transaction they will send it from the contract address to the originated uh, to the originating address okay then another situation guys let's be very very clear and very open some of you have introduced instead of introducing an erc20 address where it was mandatory it was written in you no know, bold characters everything don't send you know don't use uh, an exchange address use only an erc20 compatible address and so on some of you you did not respect this indicate this instruction so you have to understand if you have indicated if you have connected your account with a non-compatible ERC20 address, the mirroring on the site would have showed you the tokens. The problem is that nobody can access that address without a private key. So Nova Chain cannot access the tokens which are in your private wallets. So in case your address that you connected to the to, to the site is wrong, they cannot help you. The only the only chance for you to be able to recover your tokens is to get access to that address. This is the only way. So you need to contact however, whatever site or whatever exchange you use or whatever form of generating that address you use, contact them and try to get the private address for that specific Ethereum address. If you don't have the private key, there is no chance, absolutely no chance for anybody to help you recover the tokens. I don't want to be harsh on you. I just want to be realist. So this is the situation. This is how the Bitcoin wallet works. This is how the Ethereum wallet works. This is how any ERC20 compatible wallet works. You need the private key in order to access it, as I have showed you in this video. If you don't have the private key, unfortunately the team cannot help you. Even if you send mails to support, they will not be able to help you, okay? So before you send an email to support in this specific topic, try to contact your exchange or whatever site you used in order to generate that address and get your private keys. And then from that moment, we are going to see if we can use this uh, private key to help you, you know, access that specific 
email address. Cool. That's being said, thank you very much for staying with me up to this point. Don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to, very, very important guys, I'm going to offer 100 NLC giveaway for this video and because I want you to be, you know, rewarded for the patience that you had in order to stay with me for this long. So I'm going to have a giveaway of 100 NLC tokens. What that means? That means that it's going to be a lucky draw and in order for you to be able to be, you know, to participate, to qualify for the participation to the participation to the lucky draw, you need to be, you know, subscribe to my channel, hit that small bell, the notification button is very important to get notified in time when I prepare new videos for you. Also, don't forget to connect to my social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Telegram. They are all listed in the description of this video. And don't forget to leave me a comment with what you like or you don't like about my channel. What would you like to see in the future in my channel? Leave me your new Nova address, okay? The ERC20 uh, address from your, uh, from your dashboard, okay? The new Nova address, okay? Because I'm going to send you Nova tokens because I'm not going to have time to send you NLC tokens anymore. Cool! That's being said, take care. I hope this will be of use for you and have a nice day. Bye!